thank you. I think I'll end that because I don't know what I'm yeah. doing. And I'm, I'm, I'm recording this as well. So um, then I can send you the link later to, um, to post. So yeah, yeah, brilliant. Okay, so I've got cannot play video on my phone. Sorry, but I know error occurred while trying to... Hmm. Let me just check. You keep talking while... I keep um... talking. So looking at ways that you can um, raise raise your vibration um, to you know, just get get it going and but there are lots of ways that you can that you can do this and one of the biggest ways you can do it is is to get moving. Um, I've been doing some energy work recently um, and one of the things that the lady that's doing it gets us to do is to have a a shake to shake and just to really to start shaking with our hands and then you start moving with your arms and and then you end up shaking all over which then you end up laughing because there are bits of you that are shaking that you never thought could possibly shake <laughs> so it's quite well. so that's that is one good way of raising um of raising your vibration is just to get moving dancing singing laughing as well is is really a, a good good way to do that um one of the things i i think is is not good to do is, is, is sitting and um, um wallowing in all of it and, and catching every last single bit of news item about what's going on um, because that just will just bring you down and, and cause you more worry so it's about using things that you can do to raise your vibration keep your vibe high keep your energy high because once you're feeling like that you're going to feel better you're going to feel um healthier and better about yourself as well uh another thing is i don't know about you but i don't know about you susie but you're having lots of trips to the fridge <laughs> yeah it doesn't help i've been cooking more yeah you know just to because i can't get out in the garden I don't think we're live. Don't think we're live. Okay, no. let's have a look. Because oh, I've got was live seven minutes ago. Let's have a go. Oh, I just had wrong. something went wrong. So I'm going to redo it. Yeah. Oh. Right. Okay. That's all I could think of, but grab anything that, that you... I think at the moment... Um, the internet is just such a pain. Chicken. Ritz crackers. <laughs> oh, I like Ritz crackers. <laughs> I like Ritz crackers. He's waving at you. He's waving. I can't see him because I'm trying to do this live thing. Yeah, here. okay. Um, right, hang on a sec. Right. I'm in um, St. Angelo. Yeah. Because it's nice small and they, they sell big chickens there and they've got more English stuff. Oh, what, what kind of chicken do you want? The big chicken? Yeah, yeah, oh, just a get a big chicken. Chi a whole chicken. It'll cost you about 13 euros, but it does a slight for two days. That's it. Just walk along and see what you fancy. Right. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, you will, though, because we've got no crisps and no nothing to munch on. I need to do a bigger um, shot. Um I Wait think we are over. possibly live again. Oh, okay, live on it, I've got is it saying live on Facebook? I've got it setting up your meeting for Facebook Live I've got coming up. So yeah. I'm redirecting to the Facebook Live page. So we should yeah. be there again now. Hopefully we are but yeah, we're live now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, apologies, no idea. Um, I've now got meeting is now streaming live on Facebook. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully we, we should be good. So apologies for losing you. I don't know whether it was an internet issue or, or a Marion issue, probably. Or, <laughs> <laughs> it could have been me. Hi, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been me trying to do this watch party. I'm just so not technically savvy. Don't push any button. I'm not, I'm not going to touch anything now. <laughs> <laughs> so so welcome to the show let us know how you're doing at the moment obviously we want to focus on positivity we don't want to focus too much on what's going on in the world of course we have to have an awareness but what we would say is keep yourself informed then turn it off yes 
Okay, so we're going to talk today about raising our vibration. So Marion's got some awesome tips to help you to raise your vibration. I've got some soulful business tips. Hi, Satita. I can never say it. Sachita, how are you? <laughs> um, we've got some awesome business tips for you today um, as well. We're going to do some readings. We'd love to know how you got on with your journaling prompt from last week as well if you did it let us know so let us know where you are in the world you know how things are for you and of course if you've got any vibrational raising tips then please do share them with us okay so um you know i i felt an energy shift this week yeah there has been yeah, I, I found it personally really hard to focus on anything. It's been really, really weird. I was more like that last week where I just had a really, what I would call a haphazard week, couldn't focus on anything, didn't really get very much done at all. But this, this week, I, really, I, I sat down on Monday and made myself a plan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, and I'm probably still working through Tuesday's list, but I'm doing. I, I've made myself yeah. a bit of a plan. So, and I think with as in business, because we've all got to think about, you know, we're all um, doing social distancing. We're all at home. Uh, those of us that are running businesses are, are moving our businesses more and more online than um, than face to face, and and that sort of stuff where we can. So it's, it's about sort of working out how you can do things differently, how you can work smarter. And I know that I, need, I have needed to create a structure for me in all of this uncertainty and ha hazardness. Uh, and that's what I've been doing this week. Um, I've been creating my structure and it has worked. And I actually crossed off my list. 10 minutes before we came on here a really big piece of work that i've been doing for about four weeks so that was awesome yes. I like, yes, uh, so raised my vibration there <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely i think you know that that is uh one of my soulful tips is give yourself some structure because otherwise we can just let the days drift yeah. do you know what i mean and we've still got a lot of time in this isolation you know in this this quarantine so Raising our vibration at every opportunity is really, really important, not just for ourselves and how we show up in the world, but you know, globally mm -hmm. um, as well. You know, the higher the vibration of the planet, the more healing is going to happen. So, I'm, you know, I, I think I had probably four days where you know I didn't want to do tarot readings and stuff like that, but I've worked behind the scenes. Mm on the business which has been um a fantastic but now you know back into that that energy of moving forwards of creating creativity um and all of those kind of things so just looking at the world and how it is at the moment last night i think it was last night i do lose track of time <laughs> we seem to have a time issue at the moment you, you had that um, last week as well I did, yeah. I don't know what's going on with time. It's been seven days that I've been all over the place. Um, thankfully, the clocks have changed. Yeah, that's my turning point. I know. Hours have gone forward, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So now the clocks have changed. You get that new energy, don't you? Mm. That, you know, spring's coming, rebirth. Oh, I've got a energy. tree in my garden that's got some beautiful, beautiful... I will take a picture of it later and I will post it in Intuitive Creator. It was awesome. so beautiful and I was out, went for a walk around the garden earlier and I thought, oh wow, look at that. And it's just all of a sudden that it's come out. Yeah. 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 You start to see that growth and possibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've still got to look at, um, although we're restricted, we've got to see it as positive. We've got to see it as an opportunity for us to assess where our lives are going, what we want to create, you know, all of those um, different kinds of things. Now, as I, as I was saying last night or the night before, I can't remember, um, we were told that we're in another two and a half week lockdown. So that would take us to six and a half weeks. 
because we're starting week four now of lockdown um and you know for me i'm lucky we're rural so we're not stuck in our house we've got you know an acre of land that we can potter about in which makes a massive difference you know um so i'm very grateful that i have the space around me and i don't have to be completely locked down so i'd love to know you know what are you guys doing to stay sane mm -hmm. to raise your vibration and to see this as an opportunity rather than torture yeah. um which is you know what a lot of people um are feeling right now and that's why it's so important that we we raise our vibration so that we can see the opportunity from that i tell you what i saw yesterday uh, there was a post on um, on facebook which which really made me smile and then a load of police cars went racing down this road in spain sirens blazing then all the coppers got out the policemen got out the car and uh, one of them had a guitar and was singing and the others were all clapping and dancing and everybody literally everybody was out on their balcony yeah. joining in and i thought well how joyous is that yeah how wonderful that they're actually out there and they they you know they're they're working on the front line they're dealing with everything but at the same time they are taking time to help lift the spirits up of the people in their country which i thought was amazing yeah one thing i would say and a tip that i would give to you is get up and get dressed mm. don't slob around in your pajamas all day just get up have your usual morning routines get up breakfast shower get dressed make your bed you know all of those things um, yeah. they all make such a huge huge difference to your day and to structure i know that if i get up in the morning and then i think for a potter about and it's about 11 o'clock and i'm not dressed i haven't got anything done because i'm not in my in my work mode i haven't sort of done my got ready for my day so i yeah. would really say just get up and get dressed yeah, I think that's a really good tip because I know that if I stay in my pajamas, I'm not getting anything done because it's mindset, isn't it? It is it's mindset. Like comfortable and you know it, it doesn't empower you to do anything because you're in lazy mode or chilled mode or you know whatever you want to call it. So let us know. Um, everybody that's watching, do pop in, say hi. Let us know where you're from um, as well, um, so that we can say hello to those parts of the world but yeah do do create a routine otherwise you know if you've got 12 weeks of lockdown you know you can't really just slob around for 12, 12, weeks. Your pajamas for 12 weeks it will be utterly boring yeah, yeah you're gonna drive yourself insane so and then you know, of course because your pajamas are comfortable and they're elasticated you're not going to notice the biscuits that you're eating yeah <laughs> <laughs> the things you're munching out on yeah yeah definitely definitely i mean you know we need to have an awareness that this is a big shake up for a lot of us to pay attention to our lives mm. what we're creating what we um are really wanting in our lives um as well so it is an opportunity for us to make those positive changes because in most people you know uh, are nine to five they're hectic they're you know they're they're working they're um you know doing life life is yeah. taking over that they're not having the opportunity to do the things Think that ignite well. their soul yeah. yeah i know when i worked in the corporate world i would do 60 plus hours a week um and i would have a two-hour commute each day that was an hour hour each way in the mornings which was a, which was on a good day um would be leaving home at half six in the morning very rarely getting home before half six seven in the evening and then you've got to start on family life yeah and you did now with um, all of that and, and all of that sort of thing so um which is one of the big reasons why i got out of it because it was no life it wasn't feeling it wasn't filling me with any joy so now it's great because i work when i want to work i do the, the work i love i work with people that i love to work with and it just fills me utterly with um with joy uh so yeah so it is a it is a good time for us to have a rethink have a rethink about our lives and, and actually what we do want from our lives and, 
and how we're going to achieve that. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, you know, it's about your, your sole purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, if you really don't know what your sole purpose is, then message one of us. We'll um, tell you. <laughs> because we can help you with that. Yeah. Um, but it is about bringing those things into your life to have the space to write that book, to be creative, to make those curtains, you know, whatever is right for you. You've now got the time and the space to be able to do that without worrying about you know life and everything else that's going on so you know do write that book or make family time important or you know whatever is right for you that you feel that you've been missing because life has got in the way right. this is your opportunity yeah, yeah. it Definitely. is certainly especially if you are somebody who is working incredibly long hours and isn't seeing much of your family or even just much of home life much of you time um just much of time to just to connect because yeah. you just are just rushing here there and everywhere and you're just doing 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 all the time so it is a good opportunity I, for me it feels like the world is taking a pause yeah absolutely apart from all those wonderful wonderful people that are working on the front line um they don't have time to pause and I, I hope that when this is all over that they will get their time to take a break and take a pause um mm. all of my children are working on the front line including my daughter-in-law so um yeah and i i saw my daughter-in-law on a video link the other day and i just thought how tired she looks so it's really about appreciating um all of the work that they're doing and and, and how they are just helping us uh, yeah great. yeah absolutely so let us know what are you going to do with this free time that you suddenly yeah. have if you're not working okay so um a good way to look at it is you know if money and and um obligation and all of those things um were not a problem what would you be doing okay yeah. we'd love to know what you would be doing if hey margaret lovely to have you with us um what would you be doing with this free time what are you going to write that book are you going to learn something new learn a um an, a musical instrument or learn to sew or you know how are you going to use this i'm not going to learn why to sew. <laughs> i didn't think you would <laughs> i'm still struggling with this patchwork <laughs> so that's been left to one side Mm. so do you want to give us our no uh, do you want to give us the top this 10 tips yeah. raising your vibration tips, yeah i mean the first one we've already spoken about which is only watch the news if you have to and then just limit it to i would say just 10 minutes maximum just enough to be informed of any changes in um in what you need to do for example um on monday monday or the other day i don't know um Ray took um, our dog to the local woods, drove to the local woods in the car because we don't have really much um, pathways and things around where we live. We have verges, but not really pathways. And he was stopped by the police and asked where he was going. And he said, was to take the dog for a walk in the woods. And he said, no, that's, that's not essential. That's not an essential journey. You need to be walking the dog around where you are. So that was something new for us. It's about just being informed about what you need to be doing. Um, so I think that's my number one thing is just just watch it for 10 minutes and then just turn it off. Just, just don't watch it anymore. Um, and I would say if you're watching TV, then find something really funny to watch, something that's going to lift your spirits. And, um, uh, and uh, my... Um, grandson is into oh, there's a program where the parents and the three children I can't well i can't remember what it's called I'll, I'll post in the um in the thing well in the group what it's called but it's really really funny and they were posting about that so but find things that like ray's been watching only fools and horses which um really makes him laugh the other thing is give each other give everyone in the family space and time to do their own thing and it includes the kids as well um, because if you sort of get them into the habit of, right, we're all going to have half an hour of our own time now, you're going to read or go and play in your room or do whatever, um, get them used to entertaining themselves for a little bit. 
so that you can have some space, so that you can have some time. Otherwise, you're going to be sort of on top of each other. Um, as I said, yeah, you're going to be in the house for, for a few weeks, but you're not joined at the hip. You are not joined at the hip. You can separate in the house and go and do what you want to do. Um, I would say be kind. Number three is be kind to each other. But more importantly, be kind to yourself. Make sure that you're taking some time to yourself to um, to do the things that you like to do and that you want to do. And again, this works with creating space. Hugs. Give hugs. Um, I know some people who are really good huggers. And it's okay if you're living together to um, in the same house to hug. It's only not okay if somebody is showing symptoms and they have to go up and self-isolate in a room on their own. But, you know, I'm still hugging, I'm still hugging him, him who must be adored, you know, he's lucky. <laughs> Laugh, sing, dance. Um, what, you could create a family playlist. And how many arguments would you have over that of what to go on a playlist? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> a lot, yeah, we would as well. Cause, um, uh, you know, but what would you put on a playlist and just sort of, you know, see how you, how many you can put on, and then how you can narrow it, narrow it down, download it or upload it or however way you load it, and then play it and dance and sing to it. Create a quiz. You know, sort of get somebody to create a quiz and and, and just do that, and then be creative about a prize for the winner. Like I don't know, not having to do the dishes for the day, but somebody else has to do it because you won the quiz. Or you could do a pay forward prize when the lockdown is over, like they won the, won the quiz. Um, if it's one of the kids, they could go for a swimming lesson or something, or go, go swimming. Or if it's um, if it's you that win, you could your pay forward prize could be going for a pamper mm -hmm. session, or just be really inventive about it and just make some vouchers and that's what it's in. It gives you things to look forward to as well, doesn't it? It does, it really does. One thing we've been doing is we've been digging out some old games. We've all got some in the cupboard somewhere, and we've been playing Scrabble. And I have to let him cheat, because otherwise he sulks. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound a very fair game. <laughs> yeah, well, he can't spell, and then there's, there's issues around it. Um, and he is very competitive, and you always there's always somebody in the family who is yeah. really, really competitive. I mean, there's Monopoly, card games. Um, we found actually an old compendium of games in the back of our cupboard that's got snakes and ladders and Ludo and all of those things in that we bought for when the kids come over to play with. So we've got that. And I think it's got chess and drafts, so there's lots there that um, we can do. Uh, teach you could teach yourself something like chess or sudoku I, I can you do sudoku i can't do sudoku never tried my mum was an absolute whiz at it and so was my brother so it's about you know sort of teaching yourself something like that and, and logic and working it out yeah um one thing that we've been doing is connecting i know a lot of people are doing with family and friends over zoom or skype or messenger um, there's been a lot of Zoom or Skype parties, and I believe you had one on Friday night. Well, I did have one on Friday night with all my like local Italian friends. So there was about six of us. One of our friends is actually in Ireland, yeah, yeah. so he joined us um, as well. So yeah, we all got together, and it was really, really good because nobody was fighting over you know speaking and, and being heard. It worked so well. So wow. we've got another one set up for Friday night. So, you know, you don't have to be completely isolated. No, you, you can be, yeah. Them, yeah. I mean, you know, parties and all that. I'm reading Pip's bedtime stories each night using a messenger video, which is great because she still has nanny time. And I do have to tell you that her favourite book at the moment is Boo in the Zoo. Don't know that one. No, no. <laughs> you don't want no. to, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Skylar's, the only one she picks up is, um, that's not my unicorn. Yeah. Yeah, Pips like has got, but because obviously Pip's got all the books at her house, and I've got one or two, so I downloaded a couple onto my Kindle. And I happened to idea. think, oh, I'll download Pooh in the Zoo, she'll like that. 
And it's a favourite one, and I'm reading it nearly every night, but it's fine. And then yeah. she has five minutes with Grandad being silly on the um, pulling faces and that. Um, I'm not sure how well it's settling her down for bed in the evening. But it's <laughs> but great for you. <laughs> but it's great for us because I'm still having hip time. <laughs> yeah. Have a have a master chef or a bake off. I mean, master chef <coughs> and bake off are such popular programs. And I know that on master chef they do one challenge where they have three ingredients and they have to create a dish where that features all of those three ingredients but then they are allowed to use things from the larder like seasoning and herbs and things like that and it's sort of i, I think this is a good idea when you sort of grab three things out of the fridge <laughs> yeah <laughs> that are left in the fridge one sausage half a, uh, some bacon and an egg <laughs> or, or you know just something some potatoes or whatever so you can just yeah. and, and and sort of Bake Off, you know, just all the things that they're doing Bake Off where they make, I don't know, um, is it cro a croque-monsieur? Oh, it's it a croque-bouche. Croque-bouche, yeah, with all the um, the shoe pastry things. You've done that. I have, yeah. I did one not so long ago. It yeah. was awesome, I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> hard work. Very hard. Yeah. It literally took me all day. But that, again, is a good thing to get the kids involved with. Um, yeah. And again, with the creating a meal using three three ingredients, because kids are so inventive with things that that they do that. Yeah, and it's, it's a bit like ready, ready cook. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, it's on. It's on here in the UK now. Oh, is it? it back with um, Rylan Clark, somebody or other as the host. Oh, I don't it, know. It, it's quite a fun way to use things up and getting creative with leftovers. And also, if you've got bits and pieces in the fridge that actually won't make a complete meal, you can sort of put them all together and make a meal with them. Yeah. This yeah, is great. So yeah. If you are lucky enough to have a garden, this is a great one. Build an obstacle course in the garden or a den or something. I can remember coming home from work one day. This is when my children were small. So it's probably about 30 years ago because Dan's 37. Might be a bit more than that. And I came home, couldn't get in the front door, so I had to go around the back, came into, into the house, and they had the, the mattresses from their beds down the stairs. They had a long landing at the top, and they were running along the landing, jumping down and hitting the wall at the Good bottom. Grief. <laughs> they had put cushions up at the wall. But yeah. Yeah, they'd been invented in, in, in doing something. The only thing I would say with that, just if you're doing always make sure that what you are doing is safe that's my only disclaimer <laughs> yeah that. definitely we yeah. were talking today about making zeus uh, mm. an assault course yeah. in the garden yeah it, last summer when the kids were here because you know the kids come and stayed with us for 12 weeks while their house was yeah. being done pits into horses <coughs> so ray made um, little jumps for her around the garden so with her hobby horse she used to go round. yeah that's really good over the jump so there are and you don't need much to do it it doesn't cost anything to do it yeah just use what you have absolutely and again getting creative art music i don't know learn to play the guitar or something yeah. there's so many things on youtube that you can use to do that yeah absolutely creative writing yeah um there are i think there are some creative writing things online that you can join I noticed yeah. there's a lot of book clubs coming on, um, virtual book clubs coming up online as well. Yeah. Um, journaling. Yeah. Uh, I know that the BBC has each year, and probably that, I don't know what's going to happen with that now, they have a 500 words competition. Okay. And um, so what you could do is get the kids to write a story, perhaps not in 500 words, but they could write a 200 word story or something. So get them uh using their imagination yeah um, and one thing that that ray used to do with dan when he was small if we had a roll of wallpaper he'd roll it out on the floor and get all the pens and they would just lay on the floor and they would create a they would just draw create a scene they'd have like airplanes and tanks and cars and, and they would just draw on it and they would do that for ages so they're all things that you can do and that was a favorite for my kids so that's really just some of the things that you can do, but make it fun. Yeah. Raise your vibration. Have a laugh. Um, have a two-man conga around the house if there's just two of you in the house. Or, <laughs> yeah. uh, 
<laughs> bit of karaoke. Or karaoke, get the kids involved. There's so many things that you can do to get involved. And there's lots online, I think, that you can see to get, get involved and to get you moving. Mm. Um, I was listening to Joe Wicks on the radio before we come in and he's doing like a PE class um, with the kids. Um, I don't know if he's doing it every day, but or just one day, but I think it might even be every morning at nine o'clock he's doing it. But what he's doing, because he was saying that he's moving things around in the house, like he's got different guitars. So, and then what people have to do is spot the difference. Okay. Yeah. See, that's another thing you could do. You could take yeah. a photograph of something and then um, change it around and take another photograph and people have to spot yeah. the difference. Um, yeah, so there is there are so many things that you can do. So yeah. there's no reason to get bored. There's no reason to get fed up. There's no need to get stir crazy. Just get cracking. Yeah, and if you feel your vibration drop, then put on some inspiring music. That yes, a dog. That is the quickest way that you can raise the vibration, and then you know look at what you want to do for the rest of the day. Create a plan. Structure is yeah. so that important. Is important. Yeah. Yeah, I would say get moving. Go. Get moving is really a really good thing to be doing, and just it just sort of gets the adrenaline going and gets you sort of pumped up and ready for the day. Just yeah, cracking. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So let us know what tips you've got for helping you to raise your vibration. For all those that's watching, do please make sure that you're on the page so that I can see your comments rather than in my group. Um, because that's really important otherwise I can't see you there so I'd love to know what are you doing to keep yourself sane during this time are you using it to learn something new to be creative um, to spend some time in reflection you know what, what are you doing so I'm going to give you some soulful business tips and then we're going to do some readings. So do hang around for the readings. Today I'm going to be using my Archangel Animal cards. And, and I've, got got two, cards. I've got two decks. I've, because I was used my pendulum to choose my decks and I've got my soul coaching cards mm -hmm. and my gateway cards, which are my one of my really favourite decks. So, awesome. So, if you would like a reading from me, then when we're doing them, you need to say coaching or gateway. Perfect. And I don't have a choice for you today. <laughs> <laughs> I do have my tarot on my desk, though, so you can't have a tarot card. Okay, so some soulful business tips. Mindset is really, really important right now. If you're going into your business through a state of fear, panic, worry then it's going to be really really hard for you to create abundance mm. and create the things that you want to create in your business new clients money you know whatever it may be something creative um new workbooks you're going to find it really really hard to focus and be creative so it is important that you know when you've caught up with the news for the day that you do something to raise your vibration first Okay, before you go into your business so that you are leaving that behind. Now, every day, let me go back. I shared last week or the week before my Monday morning routine, okay, which is about me getting clear on my intentions for the week. Okay, I always sage my room. I work from home. So anything, you know, when we watch the news and all of those kind of things, we take on the fear, the worry for everybody else and then bring it into the workroom. So I feel that saging your room, clearing that negative energy, making space for positive energy is really, really important before you even think about starting your work day. Now, part of my Monday morning routine is when I've saged, um, meditation so I would say that every single day as well while things are going on like this so that you can really connect to yourself what your intuition what your higher self is asking you to do at the moment or is giving you guidance for as well and then as part of my Monday morning um, uh, routine I do some spells for intention setting and all of that kind of stuff but I would say definitely sage your room now We've got two options. 
So Sage is obviously the one um, that most people know. So this is just one I make from the garden. I've got a couple of sage bushes. I just wrap it up, dry it. Um, sage is easily available. So you can sage it or <laughs> the tiniest piece. I meant to get some out or I use um, Palo Santo. Okay, because this, this for me has a wonderful, wonderful smell. Again, it removes all the negativity or negative energy that is in your room, but it also helps to connect to your higher being as well. Okay, so let me see if I can find, here they are. So they come in little strips like this. So yeah, as you can see, this it started off a lot bigger <laughs> than that. So, you know, you can use this as well, but you generally find something that works for you that will help to clear the energy, especially where you're working. Okay, and I would do that on a daily basis, but I would also cleanse the whole of your home at least once a week because there is so much fear and negative energy going on at the moment. So I will put a link in the Intuitive Creator with a download and a video um, that helps you to understand how to sage, what herbs you can use, um, the importance of saging and all of that um, information so that you have it there. So meditation so that you can reflect on what you need to do at this point in your life, cleansing to clear the energy of where you're working through meditation call on your angels your guides your ancestors your spirit workers to help you and make sure that your mindset is in the right place because you're not going to be able to attract clients or money when there is fear in your energy okay fear and worry are literally going to stop you in your tracks so they're my three or four soulful business tips for this week. So, so Cheetah says, I exercise, read books. I've always wanted to read. Um, meditation helps me. I also journal and maintain my daily gratitude list. Gratitude is really important mm -hmm. right now. Yeah, it is really important um, because it helps us to stay focused on the positive. Okay, so if you're watching in the Intuitive Creator, do jump over to my page because we're going to do some readings and I will not be able to see your comments if you're not on my page. Okay, so it's Susie Edwards. No, it's not. It's Susie Intuitive Coach. So the link is in the Intuitive Creator for the, uh, for the page. So if you would like a card, let us know. Also, let us know which deck and who. Well, the, the which deck will give us a clue as, yeah. as to who you would like the reading from. So it's and coaching, gateway, or yours are Archangel, aren't they? Angel? Mine's are Archangel Girl. Animal. Yeah. So this deck turned up last week. So I did my reveal Wednesday morning and then we pulled some cards Wednesday afternoon, didn't we? And I haven't looked at them since. So I haven't had time to look at them. It's a stunning, stunning they are very deck pretty. of cards. I've done, yeah. a, done a deck review on these um, on my YouTube channel. They're absolutely stunning. So let us know if you would like a card. It's very quiet today. Yeah. Uh, so she just said, I'll be okay with any deck. Right, try one of your lovely ones. Yeah, let's pull a card each. You do your one from your deck, and then I'll do a gateway card for Sakita. Okay. You go first. I'll go first, okay. I'm going to use the gateway deck because I just feel that's immediately what came into my head for you. These are one of the first decks I bought and I really like them. Ooh. The card that's come up for you, Sachita, is Mending Bridges. 
I heal riffs, I am a mender. So I think you might be helping with somebody to put out the olive branch. Um, it may be a time while we're all sort of in self-isolation for you to have some reflection on any rifts or things that you feel have been left un, um, unfinished. But I think you're also going to be very much an instigator in helping somebody else heal a rift. I don't know, but I just get a sense that there's sort of a bit of a going on and um, I think you're going to be the instigator in saying, well, come on, what's this all about? That it's all for you. So, I don't know, hopefully that makes sense for you. But it's just saying that you heal rifts. Um, you are a mender and I get a strong healing sense around this that you're going to be using. Interesting. I think that goes rather nicely with my card. <laughs> which is sharp lead as a powerful peaceful warrior oh wow it's absolutely stunning so my internet's unstable of course okay so um you are a peaceful spiritual warrior and you've got some gifts that you need to be sharing because you're strong sensitive and you have an important mission okay so you are called just to strengthen and discipline yourself claim your power and act as a calm wise influence for the highest good of everything or yeah. everybody okay so um that's really really important to do this effectively you'll need to develop all five senses to tune into the needs of those around you um you may have sacrificed yourself in some way for the common good your guidance is to examine your life and decide what brings you satisfaction Bring more of these things into your life so that your wise leadership is founded on a feeling of personal commitment. So you're a leader, Sachita. Yes. Okay, you're a warrior. You, you are here to change the world on a global level. Mm. Okay, so that's a beautiful card, isn't it? It is, it's lovely, yeah. So let us know how that resonates with you. So for your card that resonates, I am helping my team to stay strong. They are so worried. Yeah. That's, that's so, what you're you know, doing, people, yeah. Yeah. People turn to you as a wise counsel, as a leader um, in your field, which is really, really important. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? I love these cards. Um, let us know if you would like a reading. We're just about coming to the end of the show this week. Remember, if you're in the group, you need to be over on the page so that I can see your comments. Otherwise, I can't see them. I try to be there for them. Yeah, you know, it, it almost feels like um, selfless, Shatid. I think you need to change your name because I just get it wrong all the time. <laughs> I'll call you SV. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you need to focus on you as well. It's not mm -hmm. just about what you can do um, for others and how you can help heal. It needs to be, uh, you need to be your, your focus as well. Yeah, and very much so that this, it, I, I've just got a very strong healing energy around you at the moment and it's the, and it's it's your healing energy it's what you are giving out to make people feel calmer and and helping them to be able to get on with what's going on yeah 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 absolutely and looking after yourself at the same time so i hope you found that useful so if we don't have any more questions or I think we might call it a day. day. Yes. Work, working on self-care, these are stressful times. Yeah, very, very true. Very true. Self-care, self-love, self-introspection, if that's a word, is really important mm. right now for everybody. 
So no more comments? No more readings. I think that's it for Pretty today. Good. So do, uh, if you're watching on the replay, type in hashtag replay. Do let us know what you're doing to raise your vibration. If you've got any tips that you can share with us and uh, the group or the members of the page, you know, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah, and I'll put, um, I'll put a link in for my top tips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'll, um, I'll put on the in the group so you will need to be a member of the intuitive creator if you aren't then you um, just send a uh, request um, and I will put in all the saging information in or energy clearing energy yeah. space clearing um, information in the intuitive creator thank you awesome it's good to see you SV as well <laughs> I love it <laughs> um yeah i just can't i get tongue-tied um stay safe um everybody and we look forward to catching up with you all again next week thank you bye 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 bye